When it comes to military men and women, this foundation says honor their sacrifice, educate their legacy. Major Ed Polito is here to tell us how Folds of Honor does this and how we can all be a part of their mission. Uh, Major, thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for having me and what a great day to be an American and what a great day to be with you to talk about a very important subject here on this Independence Weekend. Oh, perfect timing. Uh, before we go into this, can I, I first just want to say thank you uh, for your service. Uh, tell me more about Folds of Honor. Uh, I know I gave a little bit of a, a hint of what your mission is, but tell me more. Well, the Folds of Honor Foundation was started by Major Dan Rooney, who's an F-16 fighter pilot. He's also a PGA golf professional, the only one. And we started the foundation years ago, and I've been with him almost 10 years of loyal service to Major Dan and the team. But the most important thing is that we provide the spouses and children of the fallen and wounded educational scholarships. And the great thing about that to me is that I live it every day because my two little girls are the second and third scholarships recipients of the foundation and so for me it's personal and the w way I look at it is that we do honor the sacrifice we educate the legacy but we don't want to leave any family behind on the field of battle so help us God. Wow, I, I love that you said it's such a it's also a personal uh, mission. And of course, we I just got done saying that we live in this uh, military community. We totally get it. We totally understand. So if somebody at home wants to be a part of that, wants to help you or, or be uh, a recipient, how do they do that? Well, they can go to foldsofhonor.org and learn more about what we're doing. One of the big things that we're doing right now is they can go to social media and check out our video with Budweiser. I mean, Mr. Driver delivering a scholarship and a letter to a deserving military family. And when you look at that video, it touches you because I can feel the, the, young, the man that's there, yeah. the father and what that means to him. And as I always told my people that work for me, it's always about God, country and making sure we take care of our families to provide the American people the freedom that we have in this great nation. Absolutely. And I know you mentioned Budweiser. Budweiser and the Arizona Diamondbacks and Hensley, they're all getting on board this weekend. Also, what are they doing? Well, the Hensley family, I mean, I got to tell you, they've just stepped up to the plate. My good friend Tim Greer, uh, you know, has just moved some mountains. He sits on our Arizona chapter board and we've got some great patriots there. They've been doing these events for us for years and now we're teaming up with the Arizona Diamondbacks. We've got a great uh, opportunity for us not only to throw out the first pitch, we're going to bring military families out. And in our Arizona chapter is growing. And I will tell you that, you know, people can go to our Arizona chapter, go to our foundation, find them and get involved in what we're doing. And we'd love for this area of the world to also be involved with all the bases and the yeah. military presence. Um, as I flew in today, it just kind of gave me chills just to see the, the presence of this great nation and of, great, of this great community. So if we attend uh, the Arizona Diamondbacks game, you guys, of course, like you said, the first pitch and we're going to honor some people, but there's a lot more going on. We have raffles and things going on. We do. And the great thing about it is that you can drink a cold Budweiser and get involved <laughs> because I tell you what, they're, they've given us over $13 million in donations. Uh, and that's what we'll be at this year. And the great thing about it is that people can go out to the ballpark, enjoy, you know, a hot dog and whatever else, and then enjoy a, a cold beverage and a cold Budweiser and make a difference because because every cent of those dollars was going to go back to the foundation to award educational scholarships. It doesn't get better than that. Uh, and Major, I feel like I could listen to you talk all day. Uh, you, you have such a great passion. Thank you. I, I know you put some of this passion into a book. Yes, I wrote a book called Warrior for Freedom, yeah. and Warrior for Freedom tells the Folds of Honor story, but it also talks about the issues that our military faces, and you just had the segment with the Harley yeah. Davidson. You know what? Giving back, paying it forward, and when I almost died on this August 17th, 04, I looked at that young man's eyes, and I said, you know what? If I live, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to take care of him and other families, and that's what we're doing at the Folds of Honor. So, Major Dan and I salute you. Uh -huh. Thank you for your support, and uh, we'll continue to grow, and and always honor that sacrifice. Well, and the book that we were just talking about, where can we get that? They can go to majored.org and get a copy of Warrior for Freedom. I love that the book, of course, is gonna tell us more. Like I said, I feel like I can talk to you uh, all day, but if somebody cannot attend the ball game by chance, if they have uh, other plans, can they still help and support? They sure can. Go to foldsofhonor.org and learn more about not only giving, but also about our scholarship opportunities yep. that open up at the beginning of the year.
such a, a great thing. Like you said, this was very timely, Major. I want to thank you so much again for your service and thank you so much for coming in. And thank you for all you do for our veterans. Oh, absolutely. Now, if you're going to tomorrow's Diamondback game, you could help support Folds of Honor by playing in the 50-50 raffle as all proceeds will go back to them. And if you would like to support or learn more about this organization, please visit Arizona.foldsofhonor.org.